Good evening. My name is Steven Solomon. I'm the Senior Annual Giving Officer working with Zones 25 and 26 with the Rotary Foundation. I'm happy to be here this evening to share with you some information and resources to help you increase giving to the annual fund. Following the webinar, you'll receive a link to the slides, the notes, and various resources that I'll be talking about this evening. In addition, in the handout section of the webinar, you can also access these same resources. I've broken the presentation into six sections. Motivations for giving, resources, sharing our impact, social media, asking, and recognition. Think about why do you give to the Rotary Foundation? Here are 10 motivations for giving. I think it's important to be cognizant that people give for different reasons, and many donors have more than one reason for giving. Therefore, it's important to have different strategies to support each donor's interest. There are two regional resources that I'll be referencing throughout the webinar, resources to educate handout and resource guide. Again, both of these documents are in the handout section in this webinar and will also be sent following the webinar in an email. I believe that fundraising is all about education. So I've compiled this one page handout for you called the Resources to Educate, and it's filled with tools to help you share our impact and raise more money for the Rotary Foundation. The yellow box on the top right corner of each of my slides notates the location of the document being shared from either that Resource to Educate handout or the Resource Guide. You can see big smiles on the faces of these Rotarians in District 5150. They use the Resource Guide at their annual foundation training so they can easily find foundation information. Videos are great for touching hearts and sometimes can be more powerful than photographs. At the top of the resources to educate handout, you'll find a chart filled with more than 30 videos. When you click on the hyperlinks, you'll automatically be taken to a live streaming of the video. Use these videos at your club meetings and other Rotary events. They're excellent clips to circulate in your electronic newsletters or even on Facebook. These Arts Club Society members learn about the Rotary Foundation through our publications. To help you set up your foundation table, use the publication handout, which you can access from the first row of the resources to educate handout. Let's take a closer look at the handout. This three-page handout lists Rotary publications titles, the description of the publication, and a PDF link to download them instantly, or a hyperlink to order them now online. Whether you're doing a movie showing, club program, or foundation training, providing information and resources on ways to support the foundation is essential. I have a collection of slides which I print out and use as table mats on my foundation table. I place the brochures on the respective images so that folks coming to visit the booth can learn about the information in each pamphlet before they pick it up. For example, looking at the Every Rotarian Every Year table mat, you'll notice that this brochure is all about giving to the annual fund. I have made slides for several commonly used Rotary publications, including the Your Rotary Legacy and Polio Now and the Paul Harris Society. You can find a PowerPoint filled with these slides in the resource guide on page three in the section titled, Educate and Inspire Others to Give. On the very last page of the resource guide, page 15, you'll find a listing of all your Rotary staff who are available to help you, including your grant officers and gift officers. Don't forget to check my monthly messages for club and district leaders. These messages are filled with foundation resources and updates meant to help you stay on top and connected to our foundation. The Rotary Support Center handles contribution inquiries and recognition questions, including all issues regarding Paul Harris Fellows. They respond to more than 75,000 emails each year and receive nearly 50,000 phone calls annually. Check out page 15 in the resource guide for a listing of their services. They can help you navigate the website, make a contribution over the phone, transfer foundation recognition points, join the Paul Harris Society, and more. 
Aside from sharing fundraising reports, which you can access through my Rotary or on demand from the Rotary Support Center, I believe it's important to share impact stories that show our mission in action. I believe that if we do more to share our foundation's impact, we'll be able to raise more money. I think we can improve on the way that we communicate how Rotarians are enabled to change the world through the Rotary Foundation. Our Rotary Foundation is dedicated to six areas of focus. Annual Fund Share is the primary source of funding for these local and international activities. Every Rotarian Every Year, E-Ray, is the fundraising initiative designed to encourage support for the Foundation's annual fund through giving and encouraging participation in a Foundation grant or program every Rotary year. The Rotary Foundation's funding cycle makes district contributions available for use three years after they are received. This three-year cycle gives districts time to plan projects and activities and allow the foundation to invest those contributions. At the end of every Rotary year, contributions to the annual fund share from all Rotary clubs in a district are split evenly between the district designated fund and world fund. Your district Rotary Foundation committee decides how to use the district designated funds in consultation with the clubs in your district. The foundation uses the World Fund portion to pay for the worldwide grant and program opportunities available to all Rotary districts around the world. Check out page 13 in the resource guide for a chart filled with annual fund resources, including an every Rotarian every year PowerPoint presentation. Click on the Rotary Focus Works link in row four of the resources to educate handout to access this booklet you see on the slide filled with Rotary's work around each area of focus. Learn about Rotary in action with stories and stunning photos, including water projects in Ghana, educational projects in Puerto Rico, disease prevention in Indonesia, health screenings in Mexico, creating peace in Kenya, growing economies in Detroit, and so much more. On page two to three in the resource guide, you can find strategies and resources for achieving fundraising success. We are committed to transparency. For 10 consecutive years, the Rotary Foundation has received the highest rating of four stars from Charity Navigator. The Rotary Foundation was named as the World Outstanding Foundation in 2016 by the Association of Fundraising Professionals. All this information can be found on page three of the resource guide under the section Committed to Transparency. There's also additional resources on Rotary's charity ratings, awards, investment philosophies, and our funding model. Click on the Your Gift article in row four of the resources to educate handout to access this article that explains why the Rotary Foundation is the best steward for your money. The article is the most current and comprehensive article that covers our charity ratings, recent awards, our stewardship with the cadre of technical advisors, and a lot more. For Pam Russell's Foundation Minute, she talked about making transformational gifts to Rotary and how you can create your own Rotary legacy. Why don't you create your own Foundation Minutes by sharing updates from your district's foundation work, including updates on the grant activities, scholars, Rotary Peace Fellows, or even successful fundraising activities. You can include testimonials from club members who want to share why they give and why the foundation matters to them. Giving testimonials are excellent tools that not only educate, but inspire others to become donors or increase their foundation gifts. To get some ideas, you can check out page 18 of Weekly Thoughts and 52 Weekly Messages, all about the Rotary Foundation, and they're all located in row five of the Resources to Educate handout. Click on the Rotary Giving Works link in row four of the Resources to Educate handout to access this booklet filled with donor testimonials and stories of Rotary's impact. Learn about donors and let them know about our return on their investment. In addition, this publication provides an overview of major gift opportunities to the Rotary Foundation. Click on the Give to Gift form in row five of the resources to educate handout to access this contribution form that you see on the screen, filled with examples of what your gift can do. Check out the link next to it for additional examples on our Rotary website. Did you know for $100 you can purchase a sewing machine 
as part of a, a Rotary microcredit training to show entrepreneurs how to turn sewing skills into business. Not only does this form educate and inspire, but it can also be used as a call to action. Earlier this year, I traveled to West Bengal, India to visit inspiring Rotary Foundation funded projects, educating girls and women, preventing child trafficking, and elevating people out of extreme poverty. Your annual fund dollars are truly transforming lives in India. To document this once in a lifetime opportunity, I have compiled the trip summary handout with links to my social media postings, photo albums, and much more. You can access my trip summary handout and even watch my recorded presentation to the Rotary Club of World Peace, all in row six of the resources to educate handout. In addition, I have documented my personal Rotary journey, including my Rotary scholarship in South Africa, which led to opportunities with Dr. Jane Goodall and the Archbishop Desmond Tutu. This scholarship was funded by you through our annual fund contributions. So yes, you helped create some of these life-changing experiences for me. You can also read about my journey with the Global Returns article, which was featured in Rotary Africa's magazine earlier this year, or read my Return on Your Investment article filled with photos of these two architects of peace. Both of these articles are listed there in row six of the resources to educate handout. I feel privileged to experience the Rotary Foundation, both as a beneficiary, a donor, and a witness to foundation projects transforming the world. I incorporate these experiences in my presentations and encourage you to do so too. Keep the foundation conversation going by including stories in your newsletters and share at your weekly club meetings. During a visit to the Rotary Club of Polsbo in Washington, I was impressed when I looked down at my placemat and saw this image, which is displayed on the slide. They highlighted their club's projects and provided reports for the various club committees. How awesome would it be if each club and district provided a publication just like this that specifically summarized all their Rotary Foundation activity so their members know how their foundation contributions are changing the world. When creating your educational materials, share with Rotarians the results of their giving through stories and show them how they've helped. We need to share compelling narratives so that our donors understand the need for their philanthropic contributions. A donation to our Rotary Foundation isn't just a gift, it is a wise investment. Keep that message positive. The Network for Good found that donors want to be inspired and not scared into supporting your cause. Especially with follow-up or thank you pieces, be sure that we show and tell stories that demonstrate all the positive impact of our donors' dollars. Hopeful donors are happy donors. This slide shows various communication tools which can inspire donations. According to a study by the Network for Good, Donors value both in-person and digital communication. No one method stands out as the preferred method, so it's important to have a multi-channel approach. Personal notes from a foundation chair, a club president, or a district foundation leader can be effective. Hold foundation events to educate and inspire Rotarians. You can arrange stewardship receptions to thank current donors, while simultaneously doing cultivation events to recruit new supporters. You'll learn about an event guide in the section on asking, but first, let's explore some social media. Social media has proven to be influential. Remember that Ice Bucket Challenge campaign that raised over $115 million for ALS? Well, I'm going to share with you some photos that I personally posted on my Facebook page to demonstrate examples of ways to make postings to share Rotary with the world. As I mentioned earlier, the Rotary Foundation was awarded the World Outstanding Foundation by the Association of Fundraising Professionals. I posted a photo of this award along with links to articles highlighting Rotary's achievement. This posting received more than 100 reactions, but more importantly, more than 44 shares. As I have come to learn through social media, just because someone does not like or comment on a photo does not mean that they did not see it or appreciate it. There's so much power to educate and share Rotary through Facebook. While traveling through India, I took lots of photographs to capture what Rotarians were doing on the ground. I compiled a photo album on my personal Facebook page, 
called the Rotary Foundation's Annual Fund at Work in West Bengal, India. Each photo has a message about a specific grant, Rotary's area of focus, and links to learn more. Remember, people can share your entire album or individual photos, so do provide educational captions for each photo. When I shared this photo, my caption talked about Rotary's commitment to providing clean water and sanitation. I included a link to the Rotary website so folks could learn about the specific area of focus. Dr. Sylvia Whitlock is Rotary's first female club president and has been supporting the school for girls that I visited in India. I ran into her at Southwest Pets and I wanted to explicitly link our meeting to the India trip. I included a testimony from her and why she supports educating girls along with some of her biographical information. I thought this was especially powerful since Rotary initially excluded women from our membership, but we are progressing to be a more inclusive organization. How cool is it that today not only are women part of our membership, but we are supporting projects educating girls and empowering women around the world. This post had received more than 90 reactions, 14 comments, and six shares. I was excited to be with Bob and George who are working together on a global grant to establish a skills training school for vulnerable girls in Zambia. I provided a caption about their project in addition to Bob's testimonial where he said, the Rotary Foundation has opened the door to connecting people who care and want to give to those in need. Both Bob and Trustee Brenda are members of the prestigious Arch Clump Society. So I held up recognition display for this special group with links to the Rotary website to learn more. Earlier this year, I did a posting on Pancho since I had arranged for him to speak at a Rotary Club during his annual visit to one Rotary Center. This posting received more than 84 reactions, seven comments, and six shares. Pancho proudly serves as the District 5160 Polio Plus Chair and on the Foundation Cadre of Technical Advisors. He has helped immunize children in India, Pakistan, Kenya, and Nigeria. With his permission, I took these photos from his trip to Pakistan, coupled with photos from his district conference with me, and wrote a blurb about his Rotary resume. I used links to articles about him and his global travels. During a recent vacation, I had the privilege of staying with Steve and Vicki Wallace. After spending the day together at Disneyland, I got to visit their offices in Lake Elsinore, California. I noticed an amazing collection of photos on the wall from their service projects, and they agreed to let me share this photo of them on Facebook. I included a link to the Rotarian magazine that included an article about their work, and my caption also mentioned how impressed I was about their global service in Adawaro Village in Uganda, the National Immunization Days in Nigeria, supporting children orphaned at the Kohima Orphanage in Nagaland, and the Piali Learning Center in West Bengal, India. They are such awesome people with big hearts. Here's a posting where we were honoring a foundation donor who is not a Rotarian, but learns about Rotary through my Facebook page. This posting received more than 90 reactions, 12 comments, and one share. I used to work at the zoo in Chicago where I first met Barbara in 2003. She attended one of my club presentations in 2012 and made her first gift to Rotary that very same day. This photograph captures her return to the club now six years later. This time she's being presented with her Paul Harris Fellow Plus Three. I was asked to share my experiences in India for the program, but we use this meeting as a special opportunity to celebrate Barbara's foundation giving. My caption for the posting explained the significance of a Paul Harris Fellow and included a link to donate. Can you now think of ways to creatively use social media to help educate and inspire people to give to the Rotary Foundation in your area? Regardless of the size of the gift, face-to-face -face communication is still the most effective method for personal giving discussions. Past Rotary International President Sakuji Tanaka once said, I never lost a friend when I asked them to give to Rotary. Contributions to our Rotary Foundation are voluntary and are truly an investment. Leading by example is important, so make your gift today. There is a chart titled Contribution and Forms on page 13 of the resource guide. With just one click, you can access all of these forms displayed on this slide, including Rotary Direct, Paul Harris Society, 
give the gift, memorial and tribute gifts, and more. Greg Owen loves supporting the Rotary Foundation and proudly uses Ro Rotary Direct to make his gifts. You can learn everything you need to know about Rotary Direct, our recurring giving program, on page four of the resource guide. You will find ways to join along with a toolkit containing links to forms, presentations, and more. Have you ever been told that a club does not give to the foundation because they don't have a culture of giving? Well, usually this is because there's not a culture of asking. If you don't ask, you're ultimately not serving your donors. I'd encourage maybe doing a foundation program at the start of every Rotary year. You can provide members with a pledge card, like the one on this slide, to help them with setting their personal charitable goals and giving them opportunities to self-identify for joining Rotary Direct, Paul Harris Society, or even the Bequest Society. District 5170 has developed their own district recognition opportunities in response to the culture of giving in their area. So for example, a $200 annual fund gift, they give them a double sustainer pin. For a $500 gift, they give them a super sustainer pin. Pretty awesome. As you know, giving to the Rotary Foundation helps support the programs and projects identified, developed, and managed by Rotarians all over the world. We primarily solicit Rotarians who are generally people that want the organization to succeed. Sometimes we experience objections from donors. Well, you can find a link to this three page handout with possible donor objections, along with some sample responses in our resource guide on page three in the section, ask others to give. And now you can respond gracefully to their concerns. Many times they just need or are requesting clarification or more information. For those who are not comfortable asking others to donate, there are several other ways that you can still encourage others to support the Rotary Foundation. You can use our foundation reports, like the Club Foundation Banner Report, to identify individuals who have given and personally thank them. You can ask for advice from folks in your network to help with our Rotary grants or foundation events. You can even connect folks that you know with other foundation leaders who can solicit them to make a donation. You too can personally provide resources to help with our newsletters, staff a foundation table at an event, or even assist with some of our regional foundation trainings. Maybe you can host a recognition or education event at your home or office. Hosting an event is a great way to raise the profile of Rotary and your club in your community. You can use this event guide to explore if an event is right for you. You can find a link to this guide on page three of the resource guide in the section, Ask Others to Give. Community events, they do offer an opportunity to establish relationships, thank donors, raise awareness, inspire action, and celebrate Rotary's work in your area and around the world. This event guide has ideas to promote membership, fundraising, and community engagement. In addition to using your district and zone foundation leadership to provide investment updates, I personally believe that it's effective to invite Rotarians from outside your club, district, or zone to bring a different message, even though many times it's the same message. It's also a great opportunity to expand our networks and knowledge of our foundation work outside our immediate area. There's great potential for new idea and information exchanges too. It's amazing to me how many clubs are involved in foundation brands, yet only a handful of their members are actually aware of the detail of this activity. We do have an opportunity to educate. Check out 53 ways to raise a thousand dollar article from row three on the resources to educate handout. This list includes suggestions for various fundraising events and other innovative ways to raise money. For holidays, you can ask that in lieu of gifts, your friends and family give to the Rotary Foundation. Perhaps you can find a local store or a restaurant that Rotarian support and ask them to set up a donation day or a month or a percentage of their proceeds are given to our Rotary Foundation. This chart was provided by the Lilly Family School of Philanthropy at Indiana University. You can see the most important factors for donors after giving. I would encourage you to review these 11 factors and consider their implications in your specific region. 
People like to be thanked when they do nice things, including making a donation to Rotary. I have compiled a thank you handout for you with many ways that we can show our gratitude to our donors. This slide displays the various sections in this one page handout. You can also find a chart filled with sample presentation remarks for various foundation recognition, including the Paul Harris Fellow and Bequest Society presentations. You can find this thank you handout in the resource guide on page three in the section called Acknowledge Previous Giving and Say Thanks. I believe Rotarians who feel their time and money is well spent will continue volunteering with Rotary and giving to our foundation. In fact, some Rotarians who feel their contributions are appreciated are more likely to contribute more and oftentimes increase the level of their gift. Recognition is an important part because it's a great way to thank and steward donors while simultaneously serving as a marketing tool for securing financial support. Donor levels and societies can help facilitate conversations with prospective donors who appreciate tangible items that connect to our mission. You can find descriptions of individual foundation recognition opportunities on pages six and seven of the resource guide. Under each recognition type, I've included a description and an image, a report guide for tracking, links to presentation remarks, and a brochure. You can use our foundation recognition reports as donor appreciation reports. Use our recognition opportunities to help facilitate these conversations with potential donors. The Paul Harris Society members have raised more than $20 million in the past Rotary year. With your help, we can continue to inspire ongoing annual support for our Rotary Foundation. To learn about the Paul Harris Society, visit page five in the resource guide. You will find the ways that folks can join this joyous group of donors. This toolkit is filled with resources, including forms and brochures, sample presentation remarks, a PowerPoint, frequently asked questions, and so much more. You can find all the annual club banner requirements, images, and report names for tracking your club's progress on page eight of our resource guide. You'll find information here too for that one-time recognition of the 100% Paul Harris Fellow Club banner. District 5100 in Oregon has a long history of supporting the Rotary Foundation, and they provide recognition opportunities to show appreciation to their foundation supporters. They have adopted a district-administered Rotary Foundation recognition program, which was created by Rotarians, called the Triple Crown Donors. They honor those individuals who are major donors or Arch Club Society members, who are also members of both the Bequest Society and Paul Harris Society. Talk about truly joyous and generous foundation supporters who make it possible to eradicate polio, build peace and goodwill. Here's my personal list of nine simple things that you can do this year as a foundation leader. Make a gift. Get all of your club members to give something to the Rotary Foundation. Get 100% participation. Call donors to thank them for their gifts. Recognize club members and invite them to give testimonials on why they support Rotary. Name the Rotary Foundation in your will or estate plan. Write articles and give presentations to share our impact. Use social media to increase our awareness. Ask your local interactors and road rackers to help you with raising money. Maybe even host a cultivation event at your home. Think, how many of these things can you do? Well, I hope that you found some new and exciting resources to help you with your fundraising efforts. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be a part of this webinar and for all the support that you provide for our charity of choice, the Rotary foundation. Any questions you submit in the panel will be answered either at this point in the webinar or during the follow-up period after the webinar ends. Thanks for your time. Hey Stephen, it's Scott. So far there's no questions, but if anybody does have any questions, like Stephen said uh, on the right-hand side of your screen in the uh, question box, go ahead and type them in there. And let me see if I can unmute Sandy to see if she has anything that she'd like to add. Let's see if this works. Hey, Sandy, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? 
Yes. Yes, we can. Well, I, I want to thank Stephen. Um, on a Sunday afternoon, doing this is great. Um, I know that there are questions, so I want people to um, type them in. And um, I'm just very appreciative of, of Stephen's time. He's traveling. Um, I got to spend the whole day with him yesterday at a district event or a zone of event. And um, he's he's the guy for us if you have any questions. So type them in. There's just, um, this is your time to answer or ask those 101 questions um, that you have. And as a follow on to that, make sure if there are no questions, um, and I'll look in just one second. Make sure you uh, at least get down his email address or phone number there because he's a, a very valuable resource for any foundation questions. Or if he doesn't know the answer, he knows who has the answer. So let's see. Lots of great info. Thanks. Let's see, I have a question about Facebook. I don't use Facebook myself. Is there a Rotary Foundation Facebook? There's several Facebook pages that do share information about the Rotary Foundation. For example, the Peace Centers, Folio Plus, they all do have Facebook pages, but it's not actually set up for Rotarians to be you know, putting information out there. It usually comes from the world headquarters, but I would encourage you to either engage with your district or club Facebook page, even if you don't have your own. Perhaps you have a webmaster you know, more locally in one of those entities, because it truly is a great way to communicate and reach a lot of people. Okay, let's see, someone said I may want to clarify how to ask questions. Uh, if you see the GoToMeeting box on the right-hand side of your screen, you may have to look. There is a little question pod. It may not be expanded, but there's a little arrow you can click on to expand it to ask your questions. So go ahead and type them in there. Um, uh, here's another one. How do we access the message from Stephen? I'm assuming that's the webinar. The weekly messages, oh, I'm sorry, the monthly messages. I do send out monthly messages, and it's folks that are listed in the Rotary International Database and is a club or a district leader. So if you're a club president or foundation chair, you're automatically added to this list. It's just important that we know at Rotary International that you are in that role. So many times club presidents have not yet identified their foundation chair and so forth. So please do make sure that you're listed properly. You can also check when you log into the Rotary website in my Rotary that you do have access to the reports because obviously if you are a club leader you'll get access to all those reports so that would be a way to determine you know that you're there perfect another one you can also how much go to the is the support center and they can also verify that you're listed in whichever role um, you're trying to follow up on so by calling 866-976-8279 or emailing Rotary Support Center at rotary.org, they too can also confirm your membership and your um, position. Glad you got that number memorized. <laughs> uh, another question for you is how much is the percentage administration fees for the foundation? So let me pull this up here. In the resource guide, if you turn to page three at the very top, and I'll read it to you, program awards were 82% of total expenses, while program operations were 9% of total expenses. This means 91% of the foundation's expenses directly supported are mission critical programs and grants. And this was right out of the annual report. So it's a couple years old because the new one has not been released yet for the prior year, but that's currently from the annual report. And you can link to this at the very top of page three in the resource guide under the section committed to transparency, where there's also links to information on the investments and the funding model, along with the annual report where I just extracted that blurb. Perfect. Uh, got a personal message here for you. Thank you, Steve, refreshing my memory with all this great information. That's from Luz Maria. Oh, cool. 
next one, where does one receive super sustainer pins? Are they from Evanston? No, what they do is because the district has created their own recognition program, they have been in direct contact with a licensed vendor to create their own additional foundation recognition opportunities. So the pins are created from a vendor and then they you know, get them just in small quantities for their district. But if you do have interest in connecting with them, send an email to me and I can connect you with the district Rotary Foundation chair for 5170 and they can share the specific vendor information with you. We could find uh, Wade who's hiding out there and give him some more work to create a, a district-wide uh, program here. <laughs> <laughs> Another question, uh, do you have time in your schedule to visit clubs in our district to give members a presentation on the foundation? I do wish I had more time with you, but I'm actually leaving tomorrow morning, so I'll be heading up to some other districts. Um, but I will be back in October. Um, for the district conference and we'll be speaking at that event and so hopefully folks can come out to support that event because um, I will be back in 5240. There we go and another if you, just to follow on that question um, if you're looking for someone to do a foundation presentation reach out to uh, Wade or Wade and his whole team is able to go out there if not himself and do presentations. I know he loves to drive from one end of the district to the other. So. <laughs> Very awesome. And actually, past weekend, Wade was training district and zone leadership from all over Zone 26. Folks had flown in from Arizona and Hawaii to receive training from him. So obviously, he's got high level of qualifications and a great deal of information that he'd be able to share and to um, help engage with folks locally that want to learn more about the Rotary Foundation. It just happens also in your district, you happen to have a trustee of our Rotary Foundation. In fact, it's the vice chair, Brenda Cressy. So you have a lot of resources locally in this district that can help share stories. I know there's an individual named Jim Lewis who is a polio survivor, and I believe he's still your district polio plus chair. He's been involved in global grants in India. He's gone on national immunization days. He too could provide you know, programs for you. There's a whole assortment of folks. So definitely reach out to Wade Nomura, your district Rotary Foundation Chair in Carpinteria. Perfect, thank you. Uh, let's see, next one. Is it permissible to set up a Rotary Facebook page calling it this with your club name? To be honest, I would encourage you to reach out to your club and district support folks because I don't know the rules with the legalities with creating those entities with Rotary. But if you check out on the last page of the resource guide, page 15, I do list the contact information for both Jim D'Amato and Sophie Dangerfield that work in club and district support. And they're there to help you with all of doing your Rotary business so they can advise you better on what the permissibilities are with that. Um, in addition, you might also want to reach out to the Rotary Public Image Coordinator folks, and we can get that to you. If you want to send an email to me, I don't have the information offhand, but I can connect you with those folks, too, that have more knowledge about that. Perfect. Um, let's see. Was this webinar recorded? Yes, it is being recorded, so we will uh, send out a link to everyone that was on it and may have missed it. Uh, I've got another one that you may be able to answer. Uh, I'm new to Rotary. What is area? What area is zone 25 and 26? Yes, if you check out the resource guide that I've provided on page 14, I provide a map for you. So page 14 of the resource guide, you can see a listing of all the districts that are in zones 25 and 26 that I'm assigned to. And zone 26 is the lower portion, which includes portions of Nevada, California, Arizona, and the state of Hawaii. So all of those compose of zone 26, and your district 5240 is one of the districts in zone 26. But please do check out page 14 for a whole map of the zone, along with links to the zone website, links to the zone leadership, and also videos that the zone folks have made for you to help access and learn about different rotary tools. All of that on page 14, in the resource guide on Zone Foundation Team Rotarians. Perfect. Uh, let's see, the club fundraising 
analysis only gives four years of history. Where can we find giving history for 10 plus years? What you can do is call the Rotary Support Center and they do provide reports on demand and can help you with those kind of questions. I'm guessing they may pull what we call the monthly contribution report, which can be run and it breaks down your giving by the designations cumulatively you know, for the clubs. And you can probably run that for 10 consecutive years and have those reports you know, share that information with you. But I'd encourage you to reach out to the Rotary Support Center directly, 866-976-8279, or email rotarysupportcenter at rotary.org. Just typing that into the chat box just to make sure everybody got that. And if you check out see the last page of the resource guide, there's a box with the Rotary Support Center and it lists their contact information along with their services, which includes providing reports on demand and answering Rotary questions. So anytime you have a question about Rotary, including our foundation, I'd encourage you to first go to our Rotary Support Center because they're your primary resource for getting answers. If they can't help you, they will find the appropriate staff to assist you and forward your email or you know, onwards. So it's an excellent resource, the Rotary Support Center. And they're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 Central Standard Time, which is what, 10 to 3 Pacific Time. Perfect. Uh, that's all the questions I've got now. So I'll, I'll sort of stall for one moment and see if there's any more final questions before we go ahead and wrap this up. And, and thank you, Stephen, for making the time and doing the webinar. I, I always find something I didn't know <laughs> watching your presentations. So appreciate your time. No, my pleasure. And I don't take a, a chance to review the resources. You can also re go through the slides at a slower pace. And feel free to email me any feedback you have, both things you like and didn't like, as I do reuse these presentations for other purposes. So I'm always looking to make improvements or to provide further clarification with the information. So I do look forward to getting any feedback from you. Again, both positive and negative, so I can make improvements. And my contact information is right there on that last slide, or almost in every resource that I've circulated, I'm in there. Well, they can track you down on Facebook too, so. Correct. <laughs> Multiple ways to reach me. Yes. Well, I don't see any other questions, so. I think we're good and awesome. uh, they all have your contact info now so they can reach out or if they don't know who to reach out to for some specific things Wade's always a good resource for the district rotary foundation committee or uh, email Sandy yes definitely. so again thanks and uh, go ahead and wrap this up have a good That's one great, everyone. thanks for coming on have a great night